are starting. We are starting. We are starting. So it's actually just a few hours after I finished the last video and family's here. Daniel is here and we're taking up a load of wood up to the foundation right now. Right here. Get, get about a four, four more foot. Uh, right here's 20 feet. On. So what do you want to do? I want to make it bigger. Okay. But I don't have enough materials. I'm going to need more polycarbonate, which I bought all of the stock they had. I'm going to need more wood. I'm willing to make it bigger because if I'm looking at this now and it already feels too small, it's going to feel even... You're supposed to make a, a greenhouse that's bigger than what you think you're going to need. And this, <laughs> this feels... Yeah, that's what everybody says. You gotta grow into it. <laughs> you know what that sounds like? It sounds like an excuse to buy more plants. That's what it sounds like. Massive update and huge change to the plans. We have this set up in the four by, or in the 12 by 16, or 16 by 12, whatever. <laughs> and it's only occurring to me now that this is actually very small. So this actual foundation is 38 feet long. And I guess like this whole time I've been working on this, I've been imagining it so much bigger because I see like the 10 foot ones and they just seem so small. So anyway, all of this to say, we are going to be extending it by eight feet, which shouldn't mess with things too much. We are gonna need more materials of course, but um, it's only going to be a little bit more for materials and we're going to extend it to this marker here so there's still lots of space behind if we wanted to add like a little storage shed or something behind here i was not expecting this and when we brought it up i was thinking nah i don't think that's very realistic to like change the plans as of right now but we're gonna go in and just print out the plans have a copy for everyone to look at and reassess and I think we're going to go to Menards after we have dinner and get two more four by four by eights just to extend the length here. Feel pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Uh, we, we got it up halfway. That's what she said. Oh wait, do you think it's halfway done now considering the roof? No, we're halfway done with the foundation. We're more than halfway. We're three quarters of the way. Yeah, but the roof's gonna take the most the longest. So we're halfway done with the whole thing. No. When we put this up, then we'll be halfway done. I don't know, Grandpa, what, what would you consider the halfway point? Third, so we're, we're a, a third. We're a third of the way in right now. Morale is high. We haven't made any mistakes yet. I shouldn't have said that. Yeah, wow. But everything's been going really smooth. Did I have to go get more wood? Yes. So I suppose in, in that sense, that's a mistake. But really, everything's been going great. We just have to frame the last wall, which is the front wall where the door goes. And then that's it for the, the wall framing. And then we move on to the roof. Okay, so now we're adding on the panels as you can see. Um, we finished all of the walls and we put in the cross panels um, to help stabilize, but it's still a little bit swayy, so we're thinking that if we add these panels on, that'll help things not be so, you know, swayy. I don't know, what's the actual terminology? Wavy. I don't know, anyway, it's moving and we don't want it to. It's not really moving that much, but when you like really go up and you push on it, 
We want to stabilize it, so we're seeing if this is going to help. It is late. It's probably like 4.30, 4.45, and we are just not getting started because this morning it, it rained, like most of the morning and afternoon, and had to already make two trips to Menards. You get to a step, and then you're like, oh shoot, we need this. Oh shoot, we need this. So we're here today. We are going to be putting the bottom paneling on the south side of the building. We needed to get some some more wood and extra stuff because I realized, number one, since the greenhouse is bigger than I, I anticipated when I originally bought stuff, and then also, um, there is a little discrepancy with the measurements and just like on our part. And so we had to sort of figure out a solution because we cut the boards, the paneling to be three feet. And then I was planning on the polycarbonate sheeting to be four feet, so in my mind, four plus three is seven, but then we have to think about like the two by two, the, the two by four that the paneling is actually being screwed into. That takes away two inches. And then um, anyway, so it's just like all these little things that you don't think about. So basically there is like a four inch discrepancy between polycarbonate and the paneling. So we decided to just do a two by four in between just as like an anchor point, which will add stability to the building as well, which is always a good thing. Good morning everybody, it is the next day. So first of all, we added these cross beams here and since the building is much larger than the original plans, or not much larger, it's eight feet longer than the original plans, it is a bigger structure so we're trying to add more security where we can. So we added this cross beam here, it's a 12 foot cross beam. We added another one here and then we added on, if you can see, these pieces, um, I don't know if my arm is reaching it. Yeah, there we go, that piece. And that is what the roof spine is going to sit on. Then we're going to put up the spine today and hopefully the rafters. But Daniel's at work, so we are down one very vital person. So we're just gonna see how this goes. I'm confident that it'll be okay. Actually, I'm not super confident, I'm gonna be honest. I'm a little nervous, but when I actually think about it, we're just lifting up a tall beam. We have two ladders. Once we actually secure the beam in place, it's just gonna be putting the rafters up, which doesn't seem like that hard of a job. Also, another big thing that's gonna happen today is I need to go and find the stain and seal. I was previously planning on using like a natural or, or organic seal, but in all of the videos that I have watched, and all of the research that I have done, I have found that you don't necessarily need to use like an organic stain and seal because once it's cured, it's not going to be leaking toxins. Hopefully that is correct. Um, I guess we'll find out <laughs> if I'm not correct in that. I need to go up to the paint counter and just like ask them some questions. Hopefully somebody who knows will be working and be able to help me out. In addition to all these wood changes, um, the roof right here, the, the longest side of the roof, when it's laying flat, it's eight feet, but when you lift up the wood piece to match the top of the peak, it's no longer eight feet, which is a math thing that I should have known because I'm positive that I learned that <laughs> a long time ago. <laughs> so, um, oh, we could actually do some triangle math 
to find to find the length of side C, we just need to know the length of side A and B, and then we do some sort of math thing to find the third side length. I'm gonna look that up when I get home. And also, since I have to change the length of the long part of the roof, I am not gonna be able to use the eight foot panels that I bought, but that's okay because I didn't have enough and, and originally, like not even for the smaller size building. I bought as much as Menards had, but it still wasn't enough. I mean, it was gonna be like, maybe barely enough but not like exactly enough not with extra so now that i'm not going to be able to use the eight foot panels for the roof i definitely will have enough to go around all of the siding and then i just have to order 10 foot panels for the roof i'm pretty sure it'll be 10 feet so those are not going to be arriving until at least like may 8th and i'm out of town for a few days even after that i feel like i'm a bit stressed right now so i'm not feeling the full excitement of what this is going to be I'm also feeling a little stressed that I like suddenly decided to make the building much larger without like a ton of research into how much extra cost that's going to be to run it. I mean, it's maybe like a hundred more square feet now. Maybe. Maybe even a little bit less than that. It's not that much bigger, but it is bigger. So it is going to be a little bit more to maintain as far as like the heat and the cooling. But we're just going to have to see. It'll be fine. It'll all work out. Hello, okay, so it is later in the afternoon. We have finished staining the greenhouse. And let me show you from the side. I haven't stained the bottom part here, but it looks very, very red. <laughs> and it's going to cure to be a little bit more similar to this cedar tone of the garden. Um, that was my goal and hopefully I did it right, but yeah, hopefully I chose the right one. I talked to the guy at the counter um, at Home Depot and he seemed pretty knowledgeable and has actually used the stain before and said it was really awesome. So it's a stain and seal in one. It's by Olympic and it's a semi-transparent or maybe it's a transparent. I don't remember. Speaking of gallon, I used most of one gallon to do this. So I think I got like this much left in the gallon, which might be enough to do this section, but definitely not enough to do the backside, so. But this is what it looks like. It looks so good. We had three people in here, me, grandma, and grandpa, staining, and it worked out really well. I still don't know what I want to do with this back wall, because I feel like if I stain it, that's a lot of darkness over here. So maybe I'll paint it white. I'm not exactly sure yet, but what would you do with this back wall? <laughs> because the greenhouse is not gonna be done within this video. We'll probably finish the roof framing and then kind of go from there. I'll see what odds and ends I can get done throughout the week. But now we're gonna put up the roof peak now that Daniel's home from work and start on some rafters. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm about to snap I'm fed with this I'm getting 
busy end of the day working. I haven't talked to the camera at all today just because we really like needed to get a lot done. And Daniel is home from work, so he <laughs> is going to tell you what he thinks. I'm so proud, Dan. It looks really good. Wow. Big door. Yeah. You fit two of me in here. Three of you, really. Looks good, huh? Looks good. Uh, I think you missed a spot, though. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that back wall. You missed this spot. You missed this spot. Okay. You missed this spot. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to do with the back wall, though, because I feel like if I painted that brown color, it's going to be, like, dark. But um, the stain on the construction lumber dried to still be very red, <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> Um, but on the bottom treated pieces, it looks brown. It looks like the color that I wanted. Maybe the guy at the counter and I had a miscommunication. I have no idea. But whatever. I'm not redoing it. We're just going to go with it. It's, it's a lot better once it's cured. So this is cured. This is fresh. So, you know, it is a little darker. But you can see... The plywood has a bit of a different, like more brown, and this is definitely very red toned. And down here, this is the treated. Oh yeah, there we go, there's a good cross section. The treated piece and the non-treated piece, it just looks very red. Good afternoon, it is a fresh day and my grandparents went home this morning and for most of the day, actually the entire day, up until now, it's currently two o'clock. I have been working on admin work and finishing up editing a video. Basically all of the work that I've neglected for the last two days, I tried to catch up as best I could in, in the last couple hours. And now it's going to be raining all day for I think the next three days. And I only have until Sunday to really get stuff done, or I guess, maybe a little bit on Monday, but really Sunday. And it's currently Wednesday. So <laughs> what I'm saying is I need to finish sealing and painting the greenhouse today because after that, I can't really do anything out there because it's gonna be raining. Now, if there is like a dry moment, I could probably go out and put the siding up and stuff like that. But you know, as far as painting and sealing, I can't be doing that while it's raining, obviously. So the outside of the siding is like very, very rough texture. And I would like to use my bigger roller for that because it is such a large space. So I'm going right now to Ace Hardware to get, I think like one and a quarter rollers for rough surfaces. Hopefully that will be okay and have good coverage. I just hope that it doesn't take me forever to paint this 24 foot wall. Although I think that it will take me forever. <laughs> Hopefully Daniel can come home and help, but yeah, that's what we're doing now. I'm back at Home Depot because I went through an entire can of that stain on one half of a 12 foot section and most of half of the 24 foot section. Just thinking about the fact that I now have to do the other back wall, the north wall, which is literally eight feet by 24 feet because the panels are only eight feet tall. We haven't added the top part yet. Uh, I'm not feeling stoked about that. I think I'm gonna have to buy three gallons of paint right now. And the paint is like $50. The paint and seal is like $50 per, per gallon. So that's another expense I wasn't expecting to spend so much on because it, you know, it lays on really nicely on the solid wood. But I think that the plywood just soaks in so much of the paint or the seal that it just like drinks it right up. Hello everyone, it's a fresh day and we have had some inclement weather today. I can't say that it's been raining at all today. It hasn't rained <laughs> a drop, but the forecast has said that it would be raining today and I just haven't seen it, but I'm nervous to do anything as far as more staining goes because I don't want it to, you know, rain before it's finished curing. So with that said, I think that I'm going to try to put on some of the polycarbonate panels and just see how it goes. 
Some of them will need the full eight foot length and others will need to be cut down. I think the back wall is gonna be my experiment zone. I started with the back wall yesterday when I was staining just to see how it would turn out because obviously the back wall, you're not going to be seeing from the front. So I think I'm gonna try and cut some. I'm going to need three pieces. So yeah, I've got my saw horses and I've got my little clamps. So hopefully it won't be too hard to <laughs> um, cut it on my own. Okay, so I have a greenhouse update. I don't actually remember the last clip if it was staining. I don't remember, but I was just editing it and I already forgot. But anyway, here's what it looks like. It is so beautiful. I feel so proud. Like I have such a such pride in this building and what we were able to accomplish. I just feel so good about it. Um, I came back from Ireland a few days ago and I was expecting to be able to work on this while I was home for a few days before visiting my family in Tucson, but that just did not happen. I tried, but it didn't happen. Um, I did have a few like odds and ends that I was able to do because um, we missed a few of the rafters when we were staining. So I was able to do that. That's all I got to because number one, it was extremely hot this week. I think we had a bit of a heat wave because it was almost, or it, it was in the 90s, which is kind of odd for May here. And also the next step would be to do the polycarbonate siding, which I cannot do by myself as I <laughs> discovered. It is way too complicated, too many moving parts. Um, so I'm gonna have to wait for Daniel to help me out with that one and we'll probably just work on evenings and weekends for like, I don't know, the next month to get this all finished up. But thankfully the framing is like the biggest part and that's all done and the rest of it Daniel and I can do and then I can do by myself. I'm super excited to start designing the inside and um, I, I think I decided that also I'm going to close in this wall, um, <laughs> which is another expense. Um, which I was gonna do that initially, but it's now eight feet longer, so that's eight feet more of, you know, supplies. But I feel like it's just gonna look like a black hole if I stain it. This is the color it'll be if I stain it. And that is just so dark. It's, it's too dark for me, too dark for a greenhouse. So I'm probably going to try to find some sort of solution with um, insulation and maybe some green drywall I think that's what it's called but drywall that is meant for you know really humid situations or I might just do um like tongue and groove boards I have no idea I need to do some research on that I hope that you enjoyed seeing this I, I hope that it was gratifying for you as well because as a few of my friends on Instagram have said this is our greenhouse so I hope that you feel that way too this is our greenhouse this is our baby and I'm really excited to bring you on the part two of the process of putting this all together. Oh, also follow me on Instagram if you want to see like more photos and process of this whole building process. Also, I have been making some TikToks of the process. So if you want just like quick videos to watch about the process, you can also refer to that. Okay, I will see you in the next one. Bye.